are orcas called killer whales? Orcas are called killer whales due to their reputation as powerful and efficient marine predators. The name killer whale is a translation of the original Spanish term asesina balenas, which was used by ancient sailors who observed these animals hunting and preying on other marine mammals, including whales. The term killer in this context refers to their predatory nature rather than any threat they pose to humans. The name might be somewhat misleading because orcas are not whales. They are actually the largest members of the dolphin family, Delphinidae. Their scientific name is Orchinus orca. Despite their classification as dolphins, orcas are often referred to as whales due to their size and their frequent association with larger whale species. Orcas earned the killer whale name because of their impressive hunting skills and their ability to take down a variety of prey, including fish, seals, sea lions, and even larger whales. They are known for their complex social structures, sophisticated communication, and cooperative hunting strategies, making them apex predators in marine ecosystems. The name killer whale reflects their role as powerful marine predators rather than any inherent danger they pose to humans in their natural environment. Orcas, commonly known as killer whales, are not universally feared, and in fact they are widely admired for their intelligence, social complexity, and impressive hunting abilities. However, there are a few reasons why they might be perceived as fearsome by some. 1. Predatory nature. Orcas are apex predators, meaning they are at the top of the marine food chain. They are highly skilled hunters known to prey on a variety of marine animals, including fish, seals, sea lions, and even larger whales. Their prowess as predators might lead to a perception of them as powerful and potentially fearsome animals. 2. Large size and strength. Orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family, and they are robust and muscular animals. Their sheer size and strength contribute to the perception that they are formidable creatures. 3. Group hunting strategies. Orcas often hunt in coordinated groups, called pods, using sophisticated strategies to capture and subdue prey. This teamwork and the efficiency of their hunting techniques can be perceived as intimidating. 4. Cultural depictions. In popular culture, especially in movies and media, orcas are sometimes portrayed as menacing or even vengeful creatures. Such depictions can contribute to a perception of them as fearsome. 5. Historical misunderstandings. Early sailors and whalers observing orcas hunting other marine mammals referred to them as killer whales. This historical terminology may have contributed to a perception of them as dangerous, despite the fact that they pose little threat to humans in their natural environment. It's important to note that while orcas are powerful predators, they are not typically considered a threat to humans. Wild orcas generally avoid direct interactions with people, and incidents of orcas causing harm to humans are extremely rare. In captivity, where interactions with humans are more common, there have been some incidents, but these are not representative of their behavior in the wild. Overall, orcas play a crucial role in marine ecosystems, and their behavior is complex and fascinating to researchers and enthusiasts alike. But on 9 June 2023, a pod of orca whales damaged hundreds of ships in Spain. Then what actually happened? A pod of killer whales in the sea off southern Spain attacked hundreds of sailing ships passing through the region. In the latest incident, a number of whales known as orcas attacked a sailing ship near Gibraltar, in fact. The group of whales chased the sailing ship when it was being towed by another ship to the port. Throughout May alone, there have been 18 incidents of whale attacks on sailing ships in the Spanish sea area. However, the incident near Gibraltar was the first time orcas chased a ship into port even after the ship was damaged. April Boys, one of the sailors on the sailing ship attacked by the orca, described the attack in detail on her blog. He and his colleagues first saw orcas around their boat at 9.30 p.m. while crossing the Strait of Gibraltar. They had hoped that the group of whales would swim away by turning off the engine, 
The sailors also tried to divert attention by throwing ropes, wheat, and sand into the sea. It didn't take long for them to start hitting our keel fins and making the ship's rudder spin so hard that the ship shook violently, said boys. After an hour, the orcas hit the keel fins until they broke, water started to come into the ship. According to the Atlantic Orca Working Group, GTOA, orcas began attacking ships in the Iberian Peninsula in 2020. Some 52 orca attacks were reported between July and November this year. Last year, GTOA reported a total of 207 similar incidents, and 46 incidents occurred since March 2023. Live Science said one in five orca attacks occurred, when the ship had its sails open and three of them caused the ship to sink. However, until now, the reason why the orcas attacked the ship is not clear. Boys had his own suspicions. He predicted the orca attack was related to tuna. Orcas have a migratory pattern and there are large tuna nets in Barbade. I suspect their attacks link the boats to the activity of fishermen snatching their tuna. Is there overfishing? Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this video helps increase your knowledge. I ask for help to click subscribe and like this video. Thank you.